our channel. Today, we are part of Dehydrating for Christmas. It is a collaboration that is going on on YouTube right now. And basically what it is, is it is dehydrating certain goods in your dehydrator to use as Christmas gifts, holiday gifts. And we did some sliced apples. These apple slices are covered with cinnamon and sugar and they are so good. Yesterday, the kids and I got out all of the apples that we were planning on using. I think we ended up using about 15 or 16 apples, a variety of Granny Smith and Gala apples. And we used our handy little apple slicer that we purchased off of Amazon to slice up all of the apples to where they're evenly sliced. That is a key thing when it comes to dehydrating anything. You want everything that you put in your dehydrator to be roughly the same size so that way everything is done at the same time. If you have a large chunk of apple and a skinny chunk of apple, you'll end up with some that are done and some aren't. And if you end up taking all of those out of your dehydrator and putting them in these jars, then you're gonna probably end up with some nastiness going on in there. So you wanna make sure that all of your slices are roughly the same size. So our handy little apple slicer does a great job at making sure that they are the same size. It's so simple that my kids are able to help me with it. We sliced up all of our apples. As we finished slicing them up, we added them to a bowl of water with a little bit of lemon juice in there. And basically what that does is that is going to prevent the apples from browning as easily because as soon as air touches the inside flesh of an apple, oxidization happens and they start to brown. So we have them soaking in some lemon water to prevent that from happening. And after we finished slicing all the apples and they're all in their lemon juice water, we went ahead and mixed together some granulated sugar and some cinnamon. Now we kind of just eyeballed it. I would say it's roughly about half to one cup of sugar to probably about two to three tablespoons of cinnamon. You can kind of change that to your liking. What if you like more sugar, you could add more sugar. If you like more cinnamon, you could add more cinnamon. We took our apple slices and we sprinkled the cinnamon sugar mixture over all of the slices and got them just nice and covered in this amazing spice, which is perfect for Christmas time. From there, we took all of the slices and we loaded them onto our trays for our dehydrator. So the dehydrator that I have is a Cabela's tin tray dehydrator. I've had it for a few years and I absolutely love it. I have no complaints about it. It does an amazing job. So you just lay the apple slices on the trays, spread out a little bit so that way they are not touching each other. So they have more room to actually just dehydrate. They will shrink up, but if you pack the trays too tight, it's going to take that much longer for them to dehydrate. So the 15 apples that we did fill this dehydrator perfectly with just the right amount of apple slices per each tray. So we loaded all of the trays into the dehydrator and we started this at nighttime. And the reason why we did that is because we let our dehydrator go throughout the night. So we set it at 135 degrees because that is the perfect degree to dehydrate your apples. And in the morning after I woke up, I went ahead and gave the trays a rotate. Basically, I took the tray from the top, rotated it from the back to the front, twisted it around, if you will say, and then put it on the bottom. And I took the bottom one and I put it on the top. And I did that going through. So basically, it's just taking it and making it to where it's a more even distribution of the air circulating in the dehydrator. Um, it just will help with the process. And so that way, if there's more heat or more airflow on one side or the top or the bottom of the dehydrator, it'll just mix it all around and make it more even. 
So after about 12 to 13 hours, we checked our apple slices to see if they are done. Now, these are not gonna be super crispy to where when you break them, they crack apart like a chip would. They are gonna be somewhat pliable, which is good because you still want them to be somewhat a little bit soft, chewy. After they get out of the dehydrator and you get them in jars, they do soften just a slight bit and they end up being just a wonderful snack. I'm not sure if these ones are going to actually make it to Christmas gifts because the kids are already eyeing them and asking for them as a snack. They're wonderful to have. Regardless of it being Christmas time, just have them on the shelf in your pantry and it's a healthy snack. There is a small amount of sugar on them. So I'm not too worried about my kids eating quite a bit of these. You can also dehydrate apple slices without putting cinnamon or sugar on them. They turn out great too. My kids wanted cinnamon sugar ones, so that's what we did this go around. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks so much for coming along with us today as we dehydrated some apples and got them ready for gift giving, which is coming up sooner than later. Also, if you guys didn't know, we are doing a giveaway on our channel. You can go to our main channel and click on our giveaway short video that we have. Be sure that you're subscribed to our channel and leave a comment on that video to get entered into winning over $150 worth of Lufa Lady products, which is soaps, shower steamers, chapsticks, all kinds of loofah goodies. We will have a drawing on December 25th to pick a lucky winner. So thanks so much for coming along with us today on our dehydrating apple video. I hope you learned a little something from this or I hope you got a wonderful idea to make a Christmas gift for a loved one, family, or friend. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.